Hey guys, I have an idea. I keep finding towels and our shelter and stuff doesn't want them. So, um, like this one, for example, it's a brand new towel. It still had a tag on it, but something happened at the store. Um, at, this was at, I think it's a brand new towel. This was at Bed Bath & Beyond. So it just has a frayed edge, but I find them all the time with like spray paint on them and stuff. So I had an idea, cause I was thinking, do you guys use one of these all the time? Get out of the shower, do your turban. I do. I use one every day and I take two showers a day. So I use two a day because <laughs> it's not dry by the time morning and night. So all of mine are getting kind of ratty. They all are, you know, cause they used a lot, washed a lot. Uh, but I was thinking, why not make some of these out of these? It would be so easy. So if you have a sewing machine, it would be hard without a sewing machine because it's gonna fray. But if you have a sewing machine and you have old towels, old beach towels, old whatever towels, they got holes in them. I've got some holy towels that I could definitely make into some more of these. And why not? It just seems so simple. I mean, the design, easy. I'm going to trace this one, use it as my uh, template basically. I might actually want it a little longer because my hair's long, not right now, but sometimes I'll go like a year, two years without getting my hair done <laughs> and it gets so long. I don't even get it cut. It's ridiculous. Sometimes it's too long for this and I just tuck it in and it's fine, but I might make a couple of them extra long. So this towel is thick, thicker than this towel. I think it'll be pretty absorbent and we'll see how many I can get out of, out of one towel. I think I can get maybe three of them out of this. That'd be awesome. Brand new, fresh ones. But who's with me on the spray paint? Like usually when they spray paint, it'll just be a part. But all you need is a small little section here. So you could cut around and um, use the spray painted towels and do something with them. I'm super excited. I think this is gonna work out great. I can give them to my friends, whoever. Um, free towels, free head turbans. All you need to know if you do have a sewing machine, you don't need to know how to do anything other than a simple stitch, a straight stitch, because that's pretty much what all of us use anyway. I might use a different kind on the edge unless I roll it and tuck it under just so it doesn't fray. But for the most part, I'll probably use a zigzag or a straight stitch and just see how it goes. So on this towel, um, it looks like they rolled the hem so the frayed edge is just going to be tucked into itself and then sewn. So nothing there. You don't need any um, double bias tape or anything like that. Um, and same thing with this. It just seems so simple. You just stitch the edges zigzag or something to where it doesn't fray and it's just going to be an easy cut. I'm going to put a link in the description. Actually, in what I might just write instructions. Um, because there's no way I can fit this on a PDF. This would be too weird. But I will measure first this straight edge, how long this is of the real one. And then the widest part, it looks like it doesn't have much of a curve, but it has a little bit of a curve from here to here. So you guys can get an idea. Um, I'll actually measure all the way back, this whole back, that would be the spine is what I'm gonna call it. And then the straight edge. And then I'll measure along the way and say, go down three inches and it's seven inches or whatever it is. And then go down from the straight edge, um, you know, 10 inches and it's six inches. And I'll tell you approximately what the taper is. So that way you can draw a straight line, do the taper and get the same kind of curve that I've got. And that should work. You're gonna need a little elastic. And luckily I have some, I was thinking about undoing some of the ones I have and just put a new elastic in there because this isn't gonna last much longer and they're all like this. So, and I like the cotton ones. I don't like microfiber, but if you have microfiber ones, you can, but I like the cotton. They seem to suck up my hair moisture better. Let's do this. Okay, I folded the towel in half and this towel just happens to be almost exact same length as this one. So that's perfect. And the reason I did it was this nice edge. That's one less towel I'm gonna have to make an edge on. So this one, I'm going to, actually I'll just leave this here too. And then I'll cut here where this little tab's gonna go. And then I'll cut half an inch or so out, um, a little bit wider and go down to there, cut it 
and there we go. That's gonna be my template. And if I can make it out of one piece, it's even easier. It doesn't need to have this in there. I don't do anything with this. So I just need somewhere to put my little elastic, which I'll try to put at this exact distance, and um, half an inch, roll, stitch, done. I also don't have the exact thread, but this is gonna be totally fine. I'm just using what I got. I don't wanna pay a penny on this. And I do have some elastic, I think, somewhere. I think I could get one here. I think I could do another one straight edge here. I might be able to get four out of this one towel. Nice. We'll see how these little scissors work. They aren't my best scissors in the world. Oh, they're not bad. Um, they're working fine. Okay, so I need to have a little extra lip so I can curl it under, sew them together. And I do have a cutter uh, that you lay it down and cut it, but this is easier when I'm just copying a, a pattern. Going a little bit extra long so I can have an extra length. Easy. Done. Should cut my other ones, but you know how it is trial and error when you do things. Elastic is going to go there, stitch it. Voila, I got myself another turban. Okay, I just happen to have this in my sewing machine. Box of junk. Um, okay, need to give it a little extra room, but let's see how long that is. It's about two inches, plus we need a little buffer because we've got to sew. So I'm going to cut these to two and a half because I think this is thicker uh, anyway. So two and a half I'm going to cut doubled up by the way should be five inches yeah about five inches fold it over there's my loop easy peasy that's gonna get sewn right in here and there we go gonna have it okay sewing machine time i had to put in a new needle because last thing i sewed i broke my needle do you guys break needles as much as i do i mean i break them all the time um, all the time. I don't know. I've never formally been trained on how to sew, so <laughs> it just happens to me. I just finished this. I sewed it, and I I think I might have a problem with these fluffies. I did a zigzag, but I think it's just going to fluff up a lot. You guys can't see all the dust flying, but let me see. Eh, it's not showing up. Anyway, so these little ends are going to keep fraying. So I'm either going to have to use a different stitch on there, or I could turn it inside out. This is going to be a problem. I'll have to reverse this position, slip it through. But um, I could turn it this way, stitch here all the way around a single stitch, and then this other side will be my front and it should be fine because all of the fluff is gonna be inside. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna end up doing here. Um, so I guess the first thing is I need to cut a little hole and slip this through and then fix that. Um, because on this one, it doesn't really matter. It could be either side, but I stuck it on my head. Totally is gonna work. Flip your head over. Stick it on. My hair's dry, so it's not going in there as easy. Do my little twirl. Tuck it in my loop. And I've got a derby. Yay! <laughs> but I've got fluffs flying everywhere all over me. So I think I am going to have to do that. To flip it. Sew it one more time. So I think that's going to be my trick. Um, because yeah, look, it's coming through. Ooh, it actually works. I could pull this through right now because it's, it's coming apart. It needs more reinforcements. Got to bring in the reinforcements. 
but that will totally work. Okay, let me think here. If I slip it through and I turn it this way and so, yeah, that's gonna work. So I'm gonna single stitch it all the way around, then flip it, should be fine. I was just thinking about you guys while I've been doing this, and it's so fun sharing this stuff on YouTube because you never know, you know, I'd be doing it alone, nobody would even know I was doing it, and what if it helps somebody? And you guys are so kind, I must say, like uh, to like somebody that's like me, and I'm not, I'm not a, a sewer. I mean, I sew a lot, but I'm not. I've never had a class. And you guys are always encouraging. I don't. I'm not very artistic, and I don't do great. And you know, I'm just a beginner at everything. And you guys are always so encouraging and so sweet. And I'm sitting here showing you guys things, and you guys are all the pros. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Not everybody is a pro. A lot of you guys are like me too, um, just new to everything, but you know, you know what I mean. You guys are awesome. So thank you for being so cool. Okay, let's, let's sew it up, see what happens. I've got it on my single stitch here. Oh, it's a fat one. Oh, can I make it through? That's tough with that, that little thing there. Okay. All right, so, oops, I've got it on zigzag. The nice thing about, um, push it through so it's all right. Okay. The nice thing about sewing this material, this um, towel material, is it's, it hides everything. It's like sewing a stuffed animal or something. You just can't see. <laughs> all the fluff goes away. And I know my sewing machine sounds weird because it's so close to the microphone and it picks it up, but truly my sewing machine is fine. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Ooh, I needed to make my thing a little wider, but I don't really care. It's just my, just for my head. Okay, so there we go. Got my turban. That looks good. I don't think, there's no way the fluff's gonna go anywhere. Um, so that's gonna work. That's my new, my new prototype. And it fits. Yay. Okay. Right. Turban. Here we are. And it worked. A success. So I'm going to make some more of these. And um, you guys could make some too if you want. What an easy, fast thing to sew. Like once you have that down, now that I know, just needs to go around the one time, I can be looser with that. Flip it inside out. Make sure this is on the right side. Stitch again. And... Um, Oh, it's so fast. I love sewing things that are so fast and you're, you're done. You know, it's not like I'm sewing a dress or something that takes forever. <laughs> it's just a little head towel that nobody's ever going to see but me. And it makes me happy. And look at it. It looks brand new. Way better than my old turbans. So thanks for joining me. I hope you guys can save some stuff and enjoy your life. Look at that. Perfect. It's as good as the original. And it was easy.